What is this? That's basically going to be the theme for today's video. Unofficial bootlegs and fan games that definitely exist, but probably shouldn't. So, without further delay, here are the top 6 worst fan games and bootlegs. Starting off this list, we have a beautiful Donkey Kong game titled Donkey Kong 5 – The Journey of Over Time and Space. You know this is gonna be good. Donkey Kong 5, yeah! Despite there not being a Donkey Kong 4, and assuming this is trying to fit into the Donkey Kong Country series, why am I thinking too hard about this? At first glance, Donkey Kong 5 The Journey of Over Time and Space may just look like your everyday Game Boy port of a regular Donkey Kong game. But let's go further down this rabbit hole and see where it takes us. Let's start off with the beautiful story. The pretty and virtuous girl Sodoma, yeah, whoever that may be, was Donkey Kong's friend. She was the spirit what charge of all the plants in the world. She distributed sunlight, air, and water to each plant every day, so that they could grow up healthy and strongly. Okay, so that's enough of the story. The game itself is a Mario-esque side-scroller. You'll start off as Diddy Kong, which is the equivalent of Small Mario. And in order to turn into Donkey Kong, you'll have to find some kind of pork chop as is Donkey Kong tradition. Also, Donkey Kong throws a Hadouken. I couldn't really find a proper place to put that in, but yeah, there he is. Donkey Kong is secretly Ryu. Mario 10. I don't even know where these numbers are coming from. Or is it Kung Fu Mari? It doesn't really matter. So here we have, oh Jesus. So here we have what I can only assume is Mario, walking with his... girlfriend? When all of a sudden... Did you catch all that? Good. Mario is proportionally... not correct. He's got a really big, doofy head. Apart from that, the game revolves around Mario going from stage to stage and kung fuing his way to the end in hopes to save... whoever that is. This Mario, however, is more of a force to be reckoned with, doing all kinds of flashy spin kicks. Mario even slaps around a tiger! I don't much care for you. It turns out, however, this game is actually a reskin of another NES game, Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. The game was weird, and the Mario clone is no exception. Let's just skip to the final boss and- OH MY GOD IT'S A SPIDER! KILL IT! And they all lived happily ever after. With Chris Tucker. Something involving Sonic the Hedgehog was bound to make this list eventually. Sonic the Hedgehog 4! At least that one numerically makes sense. The game is simple. It's about Sonic... running... fast! It makes sense! Although, I'm a little confused about the setting. It looks like we're in the underworld, with Satan getting ready to destroy the Earth. Oh yeah, and we're saving Mario. What is that voice? Why does it sound like a little girl? Who the heck are you? I'm getting a lot of questions and not a whole lot of answers. Let me ask you something. If I handed you a game called Mewtwo Strikes Back, how would you react? You'd probably be like, oh hey, thanks. That sounds like a fun game. And then if you turned it on and it looked like this, what would you do next? Punch me in the face? Because I'd totally punch me in the face. Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back is a side-scrolling Game Boy Color bootleg, starring Pikachu, I think. The plot of the game is... Uh... Uh-oh. I'm not too sure exactly. Oh, wait! Misty? Brock? Team Rocket? Uh, I... Team something? Whoa, who are you? And... Pokemon! You play as Pikachu, going through stage to stage to reach an endpoint. Typical side-scrolling formula. Throughout your quest, you'll encounter all kinds of... not Pokémon. Just nightmare fuel. 
The game really doesn't have anything to do with Pokemon, apart from Pikachu being the main character. He doesn't even have any of his moves! Just run and jump. And the music is... Yeah. Ash did not get turned to stone for this! Crossover fighting games are awesome. Picking your favorite character from a diverse roster and duking it out with your friends is always a really fun time. And that's where World Heroes 2 comes in. An 8-bit NES crossover fighting game starring such beloved characters like Ryu, Mario, Sonic, uh, Michelangelo or Raphael. The game says it's Leonardo, but I don't know, someone doesn't know their colors very well. The game is definitely interesting for curiosity's sake. The stages are pretty cool, and seeing how the characters control and play is always like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Like Mario throwing a Hadouken! And looking a little too human. Ugh. All of the characters are really stiff. Trying to land a punch is impossible. And there are some characters that are better than others, and your best course of action is to just spam a special move. At first I thought it was pretty good, but now it's, it's not looking so hot. For this next one, we're going to be heading over to Mother Russia. Mario 4, A Space Odyssey. The game was a Sega Genesis bootleg, with a cartridge, artwork, the whole nine yards. The plot is in Russian, there is a translation, I don't care enough. Ugh. This is kind of ugly. I don't know what it is exactly, it just very much has that bootlegged look. It reminds me of a Mario game you'd play in a browser on the internet in 2007. The good old days of internet gaming. Mario is also really stiff. His movements are awkward, his jumps have no real weight, and killing enemies is... really... unsatisfying. You just touch them and they... kind of disappear. Even with the booze! That's not how that works! The music is at least kind of tolerable sometimes. It has that Sega Genesis sound, you know? Yeah, it's alright. Whoa! Well, well, how are you doing, my adorable little health spawn? Also, whenever you die, this is the screen that gets shown to you. Please, never show that to me again. Hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, Connor here. I'm sitting on the floor, and this is the loot crate portion of the video. Where is it? The loot crate portion of the video. Uh. Yeah, you can click the link in the description and uh, it'll give you a discount or you can, and it helps give me money too. So everyone wins. Everyone wins. We need some decorations up in here though. Perfect. All right. So, uh, yeah, loot crate, I need a knife. All right, knife, loot crate. Let's see what's inside. Don't play with knives. Uh, ooh. That's cool. All right, first up we have an Overwatch pop figure. Uh, I don't play that much, and by much I mean at all. But it's still cool because I, don't know, I like the characters. The game is not for me, but the characters are all cool looking and they're not just generic soldiers. We got Reaper, I don't know, maybe there's some memes of him that I'm just not aware of, but that's cool. Reaper pop figure, actually, right there. Right next to Ace. Up next is the patented shirt. I think it's Titanfall. Titanfall 2, that's right, the game came out. Again, another game I don't play. First don't fuck your bitch. But I, this was the last month shirt and that was nice. So I will wear this everywhere. Or give it to a friend, because he plays Titanfall. So, that's another cool thing. Oh, fold that. Oh. Alright, up next. 
uh, they look like gloves, but it's got Sonic up there. Yeah, they're, they're fingerless gloves. With a game on it and Eggman. I don't... I didn't... I'm not a huge... I don't know too much about Sonic. I don't know if that's a reference or if it's just like, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog is a game and this is a gaming loot crate, so... Why not? Uh... Oh, that's, 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 see, I'm gonna use this. This is a, uh, Mario, uh, what seems to be like a, a kitchen magnet, I think. Is that anything metal? Yeah, right there. You see that? He sticks. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pac-Man Band-Aids. Yep, that's just, I mean... Yeah, ban band-aids. That's cool. I mean, it's it's useful. This piece of garbage thing is gonna stab me eventually. I will keep it. Uh, here's the pin of the month. Rumble. I don't know what it means, but looks cool. The poster. This looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to rip it. Rumble. That's the that's the month. That's the theme of this month. Rumble. The Royal Rumble. What the hell is this? ninjas and last but not least these are actually really cool believe it or not they're just they're socks so I mean yeah six-year-old me if I got these as a present I would have been like what the frick clothes but these have Ganon on them let's see there you go you see that Ganon socks nice kind of pixel art style Ganondorf so that about does it for this month's Loot Crate. Thank you again, Loot Crate. Sign up with the link below and you can get a discount. Um, I will keep the box. I will see you next time.